I gotta say, Lauren, you never sing along with that song. Yeah, no, it's really well, I right. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah. I'm feel singing free to jump like in. You're singing in, your heart. in my head. All right. Uh, number six, I was watching my favorite show, Below Deck Mediterranean, on Bravo it. the other night, and I learned something that blew my mind. Did you know there are dead wasps in oh, figs? Oh, come what? on. There are. Yeah. Certain types of fig are male and female, so they require a special breed of wasp to pollinate the females. Female wasps lay their eggs in male figs. They hatch into larvae that eventually turn into wasps and fly off. If a wasp crawls into a female fig, the wasp pollinates it, mm -hmm. but cannot lay her eggs in there and she dies alone. Well, that's, that's sad. Amazing. Yeah, it's a sad story. But lucky for us, female figs digest the wasp completely, uh, so there's never a chance of eating uh, wasp bits, <laughs> right. just pure fig. But it's part of the fig. Yeah, it's right. still in the, the fig. Constitution. It's in there. <laughs> wow. Constitution of the fig. Oh. Wow. So enjoy your breakfast. Yeah. I had a wasp nest removed from my backyard last week. Really? Yeah. That's of interest you to anybody. Yeah, how'd yeah. it go? It, well, it was good. It was above my garage, and the guy doing it almost fell off my Woo. garage, which... <laughs> That's great. We might have ended well. I don't think for me. I don't know how you've done it, but yeah. he did. Yeah, so yeah. it didn't work out happened. well. But yeah. it was kind of exciting. Yeah. Was he going to fall? Was he yeah. not? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyway. Did he use smoke or uh, Yeah, bat he's got or the smoke. Oh, is that one of the things? Yeah, he's got yeah. that. And then, it, and then it kills all the wasps. Yeah. And then they come back two days later and they dispose okay. of the, yeah. Uh, Sometimes you can have a kid's birthday party, just give them a bat and put a blindfold on them. Ooh, that's a good away. idea. And then tell them to run once it cracks open. But <laughs> yeah. to each his own. Survival of the fittest. Yep. Uh, number five, it seems like we go uh, straight from Halloween to Christmas, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, everybody, don't forget Thanksgiving. It, right. It's the, uh, the, for some, the forgotten holiday. Not for me, I love it. It's my favorite. So it's time to start raising your decorating game. Uh, here's what you do. You add a few crisp white pumpkins or gourds. Uh, try adding some dried leaves, yes. some fresh apples for a centerpiece. I like that. You want to think rustic elegance. Uh, that's the that's that's the buzzword. You can add some golden throw pillows, ooh. Uh, a soft blanket, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, you do those things, you're good to go. You yeah. let it ease you into the chaos of December. It's like a late fall. Yeah. Wow. We now should our wives run out and get special Thanksgiving pillows, oh, or will regular yeah. pillows do? Yeah. Well, well Larry, I think it depends on how much they love you. If yeah. they love you, they will. Yeah. Oh, if they love me, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> Some gourds also would be nice. Oh, I love golden gourds. Gourd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number four, there are lots of haunted houses you can visit this time of year, but here is one for Larry. Stay a few nights at Marshall House in Savannah, Georgia. It used to be a hospital during the yellow fever epidemic. It was used to house soldiers near the end of the Civil War. Visitors claim they've seen images of soldiers with missing limbs roaming the halls. Oh, boy. Or children wow. playing marbles in the corner. Uh -huh. Others complain about strange odors filling their rooms. Ooh. We aren't claiming it's haunted. We're just saying that it's got a colorful reputation that mm. you should explore and yeah. appreciate. All that it is. Well, most hundred year old buildings smell pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, they're working <laughs> in one. Tennessee didn't melt you. <laughs> That's what melt you does after period. Have time you thought more. about doing a, a backstory that perhaps challenges your notion about things not being haunted? Have you? Yeah. Have you broached that? I mean, you know, you mm. got that show. I mean, we've talked, we're, we're, we're willing to do that. I'm not worried about. Um, sleeping in a haunted house, I'm worried about the people outside of it who may try to rob me. So yeah. we would probably have to bring in security. Yeah, sure. and you need yeah. a good night's rest also. Well, so yeah. all and I are available. Security? Yeah. Yeah. To if, be your muscle. Yeah. If I viewers have an dogs. idea of a haunted house in our area, uh, give us a call and we will, we will take yeah, a look. Yeah, we have yeah. a fun sleepover. Yeah. I would just love to see video of you sleeping, to be honest. It's, it's yeah. sleeping be worth the this sounds great. Maybe. Listen, when the cameras show up, nothing ever happens. Uh, let's go find out. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up for it.
All right, number three. I got here. some costumes that I'd like to wear if it's all right. <laughs> what kind sure. of costumes? I've got a police uniform, maybe, or a right. construction worker. Construction and... worker. I'll yeah. Yeah. different okay. outfits. I've got yeah. a Goldilocks one. That... Yeah. Pat, if you want to borrow it, let me know. Oh, right. I have that one. Learning right. a lot. This all right. Morning. Number three. Here's something to try for the kids this weekend. Try making a Hawaiian-style dog, sometimes known as a puka dog. Start with a Polish sausage or a veggie dog. Wrap it in Hawaiian sweet bun that has a puka or hole in the middle. Fill that hole like a donut with coconut, right. star fruit, or banana sauce, and relish and mustard and garlic sauce. The end result is a little bit savory with a touch of sweet and tart and a bit of sweetness. Yeah. Oh. Those Hawaiian sweet buns are. <laughs> yeah, you had me at puka. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number two. Uh, fit check. Uh, you might not think you need lug loafers in your life, but let me tell you, nothing looks better with a sweater vest on a crisp fall day than a thick sole loafer. It's a vibe, think 80s preppy realness. And here's why it works so well. You can slip them on, no annoying strings to lace up, no zippers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want convenience. Uh, I'm sharing some of my favorite looks this afternoon on my TikTok, hashtag Lug Loafers, mm -hmm. and that's a Lug Loafers with a K for Conrad. So, <laughs> again, that's 3 p.m. Eastern on the old TikTok. Eastern. So, we'll right. see you oh, there. It's good to have that. Yeah, good to have that reminder. Uh, on Tuesday, we showed you the sexier side of Hallmark. Well, the HOHs heard us. The hunks of Hallmark shared our story on their Instagram stories. Check it out. Good thought. All right, number one. Hallmark Christmas movies might look a bit different this year. Uh-oh. Well. Uh, Tyler Hines shared it on Instagram. So did Andrew Walker, wow. and apparently so did a lot of morning show fans. Oh. So that was fun. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, why don't you guys come visit us on the show now and put us in a movie? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I've got some costumes. Free advertising. <laughs> we, we know. You've got many a costume to, <laughs> to provide. All right. That's the 6 and 6. <laughs> Quick look at the 7-day <laughs>